Hey guys, it's Coach Damien from uh, CrossFit Downey. We're here back for, with another week of workouts, so take a look. Uh, warm up is two rounds, 20 knee highs, 10 butt kickers, 20 glute bridges. We got a slightly new movement for you guys 20 dead bugs. All right, so the skill four minutes of each exercise, so four minutes total. It's, we're doing another Tabata, 20 minutes of work, 10 seconds of rest. All right? So it starts off with either, if you have a barbell, you have front squats, if you have an odd object, a kettlebell, dumbbell, you're gonna do uh, searcher squats or even goblet squats. So again, four minutes of that, so 20 seconds on, as many reps as you can do, 10 seconds rest. And then we have bird dog planks. All right, with the big thing with the bird dog plank, you're gonna be on all fours. Uh, yeah, you can go to all four, like in a push-up position, or you can go to your forearms and your knees. Then you're going to tight your core, uh, hollow rock position partially, and then you're going to stretch either your, uh, your left arm out and your right leg straight, or your right arm out and your left leg straight. The big thing is really focus on squeezing your core, trying to keep that balance and stabilizing, uh, no rocking, no moving back and forth. Really focus on engaging all aspects of your core right now. That's going to actually carry over into those squats that you're doing, uh, you're going to be doing as well. Pretty simple, it's just eight minutes of work for the skill. After that, we're gonna go into the workout. So here's the workout, guys. We have a pretty good one for you today. Three rounds, three total rounds, 10 strict pull-ups. If you don't have strict pull-ups, but you still have a bar, 10 kipping pull-ups. If you don't have a barbell at all, uh, guys, we can actually do 20 odd object rows. Bent over rows, right? Slight bend in the knees, shoulders over your knees. Nice flat back, you're gonna bring your elbows to your rib cage, squeezing your lats the entire time, and then back down. So again, 10 strict pull-ups, 10 pull-ups, or 20 odd object rows. Then you have 20 push-ups, 30 sit-ups. This can either be butterfly sit-ups or straight leg sit-ups. You choose whatever you're more comfortable with. 40 jumping lunges. Uh, big thing guys with the jumping lunges and lunges in general, we do not want you slamming your knee on the ground, right? That's how we can actually cause some damage to that patella and some of those ace, uh, those ligaments inside your knee. So please take your time and actually control the movement. That's how we get stronger as well. Uh, if you are not comfortable with 40 jumping lunges, 40 stationary lunges, 30 sit-ups, 20 push-ups, and back to either 10 pull-ups, strict pull-ups, or 20 odd object rows. So again, guys, it's three rounds of that, starting at 10, 20, 30, 40, 30, 20, 10. For the, the row, we have a little note here that Oscar put up for us. For the row, uh, even for those squats, you can grab a backpack, a duffel bag, throw some weight in it. Uh, you can even use your child. I know most of us have kids. We can do some squats with a child in that front rack position, have them grab you, hug you from the front. Uh, you can even do some child bent over rows, just something fun, just keep it fun. All right guys, please make sure you post your scores into Wattify. We are all, we are actually adding the workouts back into Wattify. We wanna see what you guys are doing, how well you're doing, right? We gotta track progress. Uh, so again, post your scores, post your times, let us know what you used in the comment section uh, when you're adding that in there. Uh, get after it and just be ready for the next workout.